hello welcome to this channel okay i'm going to show you how to clear and um invert mask and mask in zbrush okay first you open the app you see this there um you can either start with the mesh you know let's just let's just do that so maybe we can pick this one we can manipulate it a little bit um of course you probably know how to manipulate it but i really just want to make something that we can clear quickly okay okay whatever this is so what you do is see this gizmo here it's this part tap on it and hold it and then you can start making a mask see this side turns black now if you want to invert the mask and of, co of course if you're making this mask you probably want to um work on this part and omit this part so keep see my hand's still here my finger is still here thumb whatever it's called and then tap on this place hopefully you have an apple pencil i don't know if it works without but whatever tap and now it's inverted it's not magic i can tap again and to invert back again tap 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 and then you can release then you now start to manipulate 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 destroy the geometry or make something better and then if you want to exit the mask, that's clear the mask, tap on this again and then draw a box. Click and drag. Tap and drag. Tap and drag. Tap and oh, it's cleared. I just overdoing it. Of course, if you want to smooth it, you press this one to smooth. But that's a completely different function, you know. And if you want to change it to size, press this one to change, whatever. Um, if you want to say uh, you want to dig in rather than to, if you want to change, maybe instead of adding geometry, you want to remove geometry, just press, press this plus minus button. But anyways, um, as a trick I want to show you, which is fun, okay, that is to change the kind of brush for your, your mask function. So to go over the mask function again, let's do it again. You tap on this mask guy here and then draw, right? It feels like a brush that's what it feels like and then if you want to invert the mask you tap outside do not tap here otherwise it's not work i haven't actually tried it i never go outside instructions so tap here and then you invert it and if you want to clear the mask drag tap and drag now if you want to change the brush tap here and then come to this side see this this place here this side here Okay, now, I'm using my hand for the selfie stick and everything, so this is a lot of logistics. But make sure you're tapping on the mask function here, and then tap here. And voila, you can change, this is so fun, you can change the, the way the stroke is. So maybe you're bored, you're tired of like tapping one by one, you can literally just come here and drag instead. And then, now you're masking, you see? Because sometimes you don't want to like have to brush manually, you just want to do this to be precise. Um let's 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 change. Let's see, it's invert I tapped on it mistakenly and it's inverted it and we can do this and this and this. But anyways, let us clear the mask. Let's come here. You can you can play with lasso. Uh I usually see the humans, they use lasso a lot whenever they're doing ZBrush on is it ZBrush desktop, right? They like this. This is what they love a lot. It's this is what they love a lot. And of course, you can um, mask in two different places at the same time. You can. And of course, you can change on the go. It's gorgeous. You can even do a circle one. I've never done that before, apart from now. You can do that one, whatever that is called. Drag. I don't know what it's just just you can play around with it right and it's so fun uh it took me some time to actually learn it you know so i hope this helps someone and i hope you have a lovely day also i'm teaching myself sculpting let me show you the sculpts that i do we want to save this nonsense no um i'm teaching myself how to sculpt and if you want to <laughs> these are my sculpts so far if you want to follow me on my journey um subscribe to my channel please and to see um, the growth and the process, um, it's taking some time to load. Yeah, so I just did this one literally uh, today. I believe it or not, I spent four hours on this. Yeah, 
just believe it or not it's sculpting is insane um this is my very first one this is my very first sculpt on zebrush ipad <laughs> and uh that was when that was um november last year you know and i've i mean it's this after like a long time i finally got to this place uh etc etc right now i'm just teaching myself full body sculpting this was just a few days ago this was me just a few days ago i mean like, I'm, I'm seeing some progress and everything but i can do better you know not this is not the end of my journey <laughs> this is me trying to sculpt a goblin honestly speaking i i why do i even feel like that one is kind of better than this one i don't know the progress is you know, linear in the name of Jesus. You know what? It's not. It's the progress is not linear. I'm I'm a religious person, so we always try to not say anything negative. Anyways, um, yeah. Thank you very much for watching this video. Um, I wish you the best, and um, I hope you have a lovely day. Have a nice day. Bye.